Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and today I wanted to do a video inspired by another video I saw recently. A few weeks ago, Kate did a video um, called My Bookish Boxes, and that is the take on when someone says, you know, that just really checked all the boxes for me. So she kind of posed the question, what are those boxes for you in literary terms? Like, what is something that when someone is describing a book that just like makes your ears perk up and you start really listening? Um, you know, I've also heard this described as bookish buzzwords, so something along those lines. I will definitely link her video, um, the My Bookish Boxes video, down below. Um, but I also wanted to go ahead and talk about what my bookish buzzwords or my bookish boxes were. And of course, this is a chance for you guys to give me some recommendations since I am telling you what I like to read about, essentially. What I like in books, what interests me when I hear someone describing a book. First things is probably going to be like family saga fiction or multi-generational fiction and of course this is when a story starts out with a certain group of characters and as the story progresses the main focus of the narrative is on maybe the next generation so maybe those characters children and then it might move on to those children's children and I just really love seeing the progression of time you know that kind of writing is all about seeing patterns kind of a sins of the father thing like everyone's fear is that they don't want to be the person that their parents were and with that kind of writing you get to see if that is the case with these characters it's almost a biblical style to see just like this generation after generation after generation i just really love to read books like that um probably under that just probably family drama <laughs> but um under that i definitely love to read about dysfunctional families whether that be in a light funny sense or in a darker sense i love reading about dysfunctional families probably also under the umbrella of like family fiction i also like to read about family secrets i don't know why if i'm listening to someone describe a book and they're talking about this family that has like a dark secret i'm like what what is the secret? I need to know what it is. I don't know why I'm such a sucker for family secrets, but I don't know. So if you got books about family secrets, I'm basically there. Like my second bookish box would be magical realism. I know that's something that gets thrown around a lot on booktube. And Mercedes at Mercy Bookish Musings actually just did a great video on fabulist fiction. That is also another name for fiction that has magical realism in it. And basically the simplest explanation for it is, is a story that has magical elements but in a very realistic or kind of a mundane setting. And if there is a narrator, when the narrator talks about like these crazy magical things happening, you know, he does it with a very unaffected tone. Like there's no need to explain, like it's just something that happens every day. So if a book has magical realism in it, I do find that interesting and that is something that I start listening a little more closely and maybe it starts moving a little higher on my TBRQ. Box number three for me would definitely be Latin American literature. I don't know. I absolutely love it. I mean, I do know um, because my mom is Mexican and I do have a lot of extended family that is Colombian. So just reading about Latin American literature or literature that just takes place in Latin America is very comforting. I absolutely love it. I love books that have Spanish phrases in them. If they talk about food, just talking about the culture, it's just something that is so familiar to me. And I absolutely love books that take place, you know, in Mexico, in South America, anything like that. I absolutely love it. The next setting that I love reading about is the South, like the American South, like Georgia, Louisiana, Alabama, that whole area. I don't know why. There's something magical about the land of debutante balls and sweet tea. It doesn't matter the era. It doesn't have to be like antebellum. It can be modern day. It can be in the 50s. I just love reading stories about the South, especially Chick Lit that is set in the South. I absolutely love it. And bonus points if there are any sassy old Southern ladies in the story. Um, my next one is more for the horror genre, but I love reading books about haunted houses. Haunted houses are my jam. I don't care if it's a plot where a young unsuspecting couple moves into this house that they got such a great deal on, or if it's like a group of people that for some reason have to spend a week in this haunted house. I love stories about haunted houses. I love hearing about the architecture. I love hearing about all the crazy stuff that's happening. You know, there's always one character who is cynical and is all all about science and doesn't believe in anything. I don't know. It's 
I feel like they're very formulaic, but I absolutely love them. I will never get tired of reading about haunted houses. I also love books about sisters, and along with that, I love reading books about female friendship. I mentioned before, I'm not a big romance fan. I think romance is a little overrated and predictable. I don't want to read about romance. I want to read about gal pals that'll stick together through the thick and thin. Basically, if I'm looking for a beach read and it's a pretty book that has the word sisterhood on it, I'm probably going to pick it up. I'm just kidding. I mean, like, kind of. Um, but I do. I love reading books about female friendship, especially if it's like more than a decade that they've been friends and it's kind of I'm talking about their memories, anything like that. I absolutely love reading books about friendship like that. Another thing I like, and it's definitely more of a structural thing, but I love books that have multiple POVs or multiple narrators. I love getting everyone's different point of view, especially when they're talking about the same event and you kind of get everyone's side on it. I love books that have kind of a he said, she said kind of a thing going on. Another thing I've mentioned that I like in the sci-fi genre is when it is in the not too distant future and we are talking about us now having the technology or the ability to do whatever and the book is kind of a discussion of the ethics of that hypothetical situation like what if we can clone in the future, like what are the pros and cons of that. I love books that kind of focus on that. And the last thing on my list is mysteries, or more specifically, murder mysteries. Um, these don't necessarily have to be like detective stories, but I don't mind if they are. This is something I am not picky about. I am okay with like the cozy mysteries, and I am okay with like the darker mysteries. I just like a well written murder mystery every once in a while. Um, basically, just murder mysteries in general, and I'm there. Like right now, I am reading the. Dublin Murder Squad series and I am absolutely loving it. That is definitely something that I'm all about. Well, thanks for watching guys. I do want to know what some of your bookish boxes are. Like what are some words that when you hear your ears perk up and you just need to read this book right now? So like I said guys, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.